Welcome to Delta Security Online Demos and Tutorials. Here I'm going to show you the PC interface for a four channel DVR system. This can be either viewed locally or remotely off site. First, you open up Windows Internet Explorer, put in your unique URL, and hit enter. And this screen will come up here. That means you are connected to the DVR. You type in your username and password and hit login. You should see four cameras come up. This happens to be a uh, construction yard down in Philadelphia. Show you a couple features for remote viewing. You can uh, view all four cameras at one time. View a single camera. You can expand it to view the whole page. Um, bring it back down. You have a time date stamp here. This is the real time. It is 9.42 at night in November 17th. I'll show you the parameters button which just basically is a setup screen for the uh, DVR itself. You have the server setup. You have the network configuration. You have the domain name for the DNS server. You have a channel tab for all the functions of the camera. This is uh, camera 1 or channel 1. You can set up for motion detect. You can display the channel's name. You can set up a schedule for recording on motion, constant recording, an alarm recording, or motion or alarm recording. You have a serial tab, which is set up for, used for uh, <coughs> pin tilt zoom cameras. You have an alarm tab, where you can set up the alarm from the motion or a video loss to be trigger a dry contact on the back of the DVR, uh, email you notification, or set off a local buzzer inside the DVR itself. You have a user tab here for passwords setup. You have a device tab, which is basically just used for upgrading the firmware on the DVR itself. You have a state tab, which is the top part here is the a uh, 500 gig hard drive. It has what's remaining, the capacity, and it is being written to. Down here you have each channel, which is each of the four cameras. They'll have signal, and they all are recording to the hard drive. Down here we have a restore default button, your save button, and an exit button. We'll exit out of this, and we'll show you how to view past events and back them up up here to the playback tab click on that over here we have our target device our remote device which is the DVR our channel one two three or four type of uh, event we're looking for all recordings our beginning time and our end time so let's hit our query tab and I'll bring up all the recorded events for channel one in a 21 hour period. I'm going to select some daytime footage here. So let's hit uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, see what we got here. Let's hit play. So we're looking at time from <clears throat> 8.47 in the morning or 8.08 in the morning to 8.38. It's uh, doing a little caching since it is a remote view. Enlarge that a bit. We have a couple different functions here. We have our play tab. We have a pause tab. We have a stop tab. You have a fast forward times 2, 4, 8, and 16. See it's caching again to catch up to us. So let's slow it down. <clears throat> have a contrast button, adjust the contrast a little bit. An ability to make it brighter or darker. Now once you do find your event, you want to stop the video and download it. So say this is the 
time frame you want to record onto your hard drive. So hit stop and we'll hit download. First thing that will come up is the file where you want to download the video clip to. I make up a little um, cameras folder under my C drive here. There's cameras. We'll open that up. Hit OK. And what it'll do, it'll start downloading. You got your um, little bars down here. I'll tell you your progress of the backup. This will take some time when you're doing a remote backup to your hard drive. It is a half hour video of one camera. So it'll probably take like a good 10 to 15 minutes. So what we'll do so I'll stop it and I will show you a video clip that was backed up earlier.